What's going on, YouTube? This is Alma Tones with Team Thumbbots Gaming. I'm back. Yeah. I didn't die. If anybody really cared. I spent the past, like, two weeks on the crapper. I played too much of I'm in Love with Your Dead Grandmother. And I got puking and diarrhea syndrome. And I almost died. So, let's jump into the fun. Yeah, with ninja fun. That's right. It's just like taco fun, but instead instead of being a delicious, tasty taco, you're a ninja. Wow. It's it's two ninety nine. You can get it on the PlayStation Network. It's easy. It's fast. It's quick. There's not much to it. So that brings us to our next game. Horror fun. Now you're a vampire! Roo, coming to suck the life out of your game system! Roo, whatever. I don't even care. Whatever. But it's the same. It's the same as Ninja Fun and Taka Fun. I, I said Ninja Fun and Taka Fun. I can't even speak. That's. that's I, I literally. I, I think I literally crapped my brains out to the point where I don't think I have much brains. Yeah. But my favorite game that came out was Beaver Fun. <laughs> it was great. This was a game that I could definitely get behind because of Canada and all. Right? Right? <laughs> but it's just like Taco Fun and Ninja Fun. There's not much to it. It's that Dance Dance Revolution wannabe game but instead you're a beaver nice but it's whatever it's $2.99 I think it came out sometime this week it, this is one of the newer games that I played for this video um, I mean just look at how much fun that is and then if you finish it in the two minutes you get to get your platinum trophy you get to be a beaver fun master you get to master that fun beaver huh so, now we got Round Invaders Rush 2. This is the actual sequel to Round Invaders Rush that we did, I think, in the first or second video. Um, this game was a little bit different than the first one. You have to collect four ice creams. There's four different types of ice creams for you to collect this time, right? But you get to use this little rolling feature if you press L1 or R1. You get to do a little barrel roll from side to side so you can collect them tasty ice cream cones and I mean that's really all I can really say oh oh yeah and you can also press cross to jump I mean I think the trophy world is plagued by pressing cross right now but I don't even remember how to get the platinum it's I had to look at the trophy list a few different times but there's still that little glitch that if you miss an ice cream, you can get it. You got a couple seconds to get it. Okay, so next on their list is is it's another game that was a game that they just renamed it and re-released it. It's called Don't Fall. This one's a refreshed version of it. Where you got to go around and stick your blocks or your beaver friend or gopher friend, whatever the hell he is. You got to keep him from falling. Oh, imagine that. Um, it's 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 pretty simple. Uh, this is one of those games that you I can do it in a couple of minutes and but sometimes I think it's more fun to see to do what you shouldn't do you know letting the beaver fall to his doom um so yeah it's and you can get it I think you can get the platinum in a couple of minutes uh, yeah I mean So I left this in because I totally didn't realize you had to press the the circle button even though it's right there. I was sick. Don't judge me. So I didn't realize you had to press the circle button to stop the little guy from uh he that drops this like little jelly ball and he's supposed to jump on it. Well I completely and totally wasn't thinking I was so exhausted. So I was messing up so I purposely just started going through and placing the blocks in random spots to see how I could get him to fall off I mean I wanted that beaver to fall to his doom or gopher whatever he is badger he's a badger no we need a skinny Pete but and I think I had more fun letting him just like fall down just like take that take that beaver man but 
Yeah. That's, that's really all I got to say about this one. It's an easy platinum. I think it was like a dollar forty nine or dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine. I don't know. It's cheap. It's easy. And if you are really trying to get the platinum in as quick as time possible, then I say just go for it and just knock it out. But if you've got a couple of minutes and you're not really in a rush to get like the world's fastest achievement score, then it's funny to watch the beaver drop. But anyway, so now we have the button B. This is this is this is our main feature because I don't know what the hell this shit is. I I I I don't know. <sighs> so you press the cross button when you see the blue ball, <laughs> blue balls and beavers. When you see the blue ball and you get some points you can do it when there's not a ball to still get points, but if the red ball comes at you, you have to stop or you lose lose all of your points, okay? And, yeah, I mean, that's the game. Sometimes there's, like, animations that will happen if you get a certain score, and I think you have to get a few of them to get the platinum. D to be quite honest, at... I was kind of more baffled by the game itself. It was, you know, I'm, you've been pressing cross to, to watch a, um, you know, a turd jump to get a platinum, and, and now you you're just pressing it, and when you see blue balls, uh, but it gets worse. I promise you. I, I promise you, this gets worse because guess what? There was a sequel. The button B, unexpected. I didn't know what to expect when I played this unexpected pile of crap. It's the same thing as the last one. Except for this time, I, I figured out the, the trickery of the red ball. So I'd always make sure that I got blue ball. But, I mean, what you're watching behind... What you're watching is... is here you go. Here's your here's your uh, here's your trophy guide. Don't say I didn't do anything for you. Go out and buy this gem. But in the words of Billy Mays, our lost prophet of sales. You know what? There's more. Oh yeah. There's a lot more. No, I'm just kidding. There's not that. There's not anything more. You know what there is? There's another sequel. The Button B Fields. This game royally pissed me off. It was frustrating. Because you're waiting for the blue ball. You wait for the blue ball. And there's, there's a bunch of red balls. And then sometimes this little white thing little horn whatever this is it squirts a little water out at you <laughs> I really wish I was joking but I'm not I mean I really wish I was kidding there it is <laughs> if you hit the blue ball if you hit it enough it squirts water at you Uh, uh, I just kind of wish that uh, had a had a better platinum trophy name like Beaver Fun Master. <laughs> but that's it, guys. So I'm gonna be back to releasing content. So see you next week. Bye.